along with specific times in your life or specific women you were dating when you were listening to that particular song? No, but uh, some songs do remind me of some things. You're like, oh, this I played this at that time of my life. I have this song associated with one particular woman that kind of ruins it for me. But I'm trying to take that association back. There's a band I like, but my ex said she didn't like it. And I exclusively play that, that, that event. Really? Yes. Interesting. I take back control. How long were you with her for? Uh, year and a half or a year. I dated this girl on and off for 13 years. Very stupid. One of many dumb decisions I've made in my life. The dumbest decisions are always the longest. He is tailgating the guy in front of him even worse than I'm tailgating him. You're not even tailgating, you're like 50 feet in front of him. Look, he wanted to go, uh, you man. Gotta, you gotta, you, you, so do I, honestly. Uh, he wants to go, too. Oh, yeah, right, let's off. go, bro. The roaming car, go! I can't, there's a fucking truck. Fuck you, truck. Oh, get fucked! After this? I always get this channel makes two bucks a video anyway. Bruh. It's fair use because we're talking over it. Yes. <laughs> this is commentary. We're a reaction channel now. Yes. Lewis reacts to the top 50 hits of all time. So Adele, what do you think of Austin, Texas? Why the fuck is it that's 20 fucking degrees? Who set me out here? Who Steve. set me up? Steve. Steve. The thing is, I don't even think Steve promised you anything. He didn't. You said, I need you to go to Texas. I'm like... No, like, I'm the one who was telling everybody, oh, it's warmer here. It's so lovely here. The women are nicer here, which is bullshit. It's warmer here, which is also bullshit. Unless it's August. Um to try and trick people into coming here. Steve didn't even try to trick you. He just told you you're getting on a plane. There's no trick. I'm like, oh, my boss needs me. I'm going to be a good employee. God bless you. And the reward you get for being a good employee is? Nothing. You get sold to a, self, to a prepaid service resale shop. I get fucked. Yes, hardcore. I wish I could say I was the one fucking you this hard, but unfortunately, it's not. At least you're taking me to a movie. At least I took you to get drinks before fucking you. Speaking of... Are I you excited to sell simple mobile service to people for the rest of your life? At the new store that's going to be at 141 West 27th Street? I'm claiming unemployment and going off the grid. Hey, you're, sell you're, you're selling simple mobile service, my friend. You will help him make a successful business. As we promised without your consent or consultation. Bro, why are you going 30 miles an hour on the highway, man? Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Vroom, vroom. What are you doing, man? Get the fuck Come on. Did I just launch your phone again? Yes. By a lane change? That, that's impressive. <laughs> that's got to be the third time I've literally launched your phone by a lane change. Yo. Every time somebody says that I can't change lanes by accelerating when I put my turn signal on, I just, I, I get them. Every time. Like, that's hysterical. You think you're faster than my car. Get the fuck out of here. Not happening. Not happening. Oh. I've made it a sport to launch Chanel's phone out of his hand. like to 
Dubai, I think. The problem is the town that I went to, I went to this club literally right across the street from a province in, du in uh, the UAE where it's illegal to be publicly intoxicated, and it was a nightclub. So the, it's in the territory where you can get drunk, and then if you cross the street, there are people waiting to arrest you for being drunk. It's hysterical. Just pass the sobriety test. Thank you. It's very difficult to pass a sobriety test when you drink as much as I did the night that that happened. That was, that was fun. What did they do to you? No, luckily, I had somebody smart enough. Luckily, I was with a woman that was telling me which side of the sidewalk to stay on and which side of the street to stay on, so nothing would happen. I, g I gave her too much shit. I feel bad. She watched every one of my videos, and there was one video where somebody asked why I looked sad that week, and I said, there's this cunt that's been bothering me, and she was watching. Is the cunt the entirety of New York State? No, no, the cunt was her. I feel bad. I, I feel a little bad. Because she kind of deserved it, but not really. She deserved it a little bit, but not a lot. Maybe she did a lot. Maybe it's, you know. A fairly, she was a fairly, I don't know, fairly manipulable. I felt a little bad after that. Okay, can I make, can I get in front of this truck? Yes. Oh, that's so much fun. Get fucked, Maga truck. Get fucked, Maga truck, going five miles an hour below the speed limit in the left lane, bro. Uh, do you vote, Lewis? Yes. Gross. Do I, wait, it's gross that I vote? Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a non-voter. I vote. If you're for COVID shutdowns, or if you said, in, don't worry about it, insurance will cover it when small businesses were getting destroyed, I vote against it. That's my rule. Wait, isn't it illegal to not vote? No, it's not illegal to not vote. Australia I, fines you if you don't vote. I vote for people that don't directly advocate against the, the interests of a, of a working society. Unfortunately, that's getting harder and harder because the people that agree with me philosophically have gone gotten more and more crazy over the past several years. And very few people on my side have to admit that they're crazy. Do you want to make America great again? Like because he's fucking crazy. <laughs> the fake election shit is very dangerous. Like the whole thing where like my ego got damaged because I lost, even though I was trolling the fuck out of me on Twitter for a year, years begging them to vote for anybody but me, and then I'm gonna bitch when I lost. Like, that shit's dangerous. You have a Twitter? I don't. No, I'm saying the president had a Twitter. Uh, where he trolled the shit out of everybody. Twitter is like a source for brain rot. It really is. Deleting my Twitter was very good for my brain. I never made a Twitter, I never made a TikTok, and I never made an OnlyFans. You should be more successful than you are. I mean that in the best way possible, based on the fact that you've avoided these cancers. You just know when oh, something shit. is shit Doja the can. second you see it. There's Doja Cat. Don't say that, you'll get I hear it. Doja Cat. No, we got a remix. Doja and I got your text. I'm sorry. I have no idea what fucking... You should see my video I put up earlier. I don't know what fucking label printer you should get because I haven't found one that works myself. I want to take that Rolo and fucking throw it off the roof of my building. It's still a more or less annoying than the Dymo, though.
left on red? No. Oh. I'm not sure. I know you could do right on red in Texas. I don't know about left on red. I know they don't have red light cameras, so nobody would see you, but I would know, and I feel guilty. I shouldn't feel guilty. No, about I've never heard of that, but we saw that the, the other day. I mean, if you can do right on red, then I don't see how left on red, like, I don't see how that's as bad, particularly when you're dealing with a one way street. Like, think about it. You know, people in red states say, look at New York City and there are no right on red. They have no oh. freedom. But they don't have freedom if they can't left on red either. I mean, have you seen bicycles in New I mean, York just City? Cause, Carrie, just because no state has no right left on red doesn't mean it's an infringement on your freedom. Doesn't mean it's not an infringement on your freedom, I should say. Oh, by the way, Carrie, enjoy some Doja Cat. Tell me what you think of the Doja Cat. Regretting the day he got into a car with me. Don't you fucking dare, I will run through your car. Alright, beautiful. Uh, that's, not, that's not even a quarter of the pedal, man. Here's my suggestion. If you've had more than one drink, you shouldn't become a passenger in my car. The way I drive may not exactly be compatible with the way that you uh, would try to avoid throwing up. Are you saying a small percentage of your passengers throw up when they're in your car? Possibly. Let's take a little time and talk about it. What's going through your mind and past be shaken? Oh, it looks so right. This is before my time, boys. I don't know what we're listening to. I like embarrassing people in my car. When I picked up dad from the airport, it says it feels like I'm being picked up by my parents and I'm embarrassed. Because I'm playing fucking 90s R&B while I'm picking up a 25 or a 24 year old kid. That works for me. Who is coffee with a K? It's coffee brown, man. Coffee fucking brown, man. This played at every house party in East New York and Bed-Stuy in the early 2000s. What were you doing in the early 2000s? You were probably dead. You were a fetus. I had a Game Boy Advance. I learned the word LimeWire was. I've been using Nucleus. Much better code program. Oh, there's a lot of cars here. There must be people. You missed the parking spot. You want Nucleus. Oh, if you want to embarrass him, you gotta play the I'm fucking you tonight song. You know what? I'll play that on the way home, Carrie. I'll play that on the way home. Let's embarrass the shit out of him. This is Santa right here. Hello. I'm Carrie, ready. you ever meet Santa Claus? Cider cage, you drink and play pinball. Carrie, listen, I. Listen, Carrie, I'm the designated driver. I would never fucking drink and be the designated driver. What do you take me for? You have autopilot on the entire time. I did, I did that of all. I, 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 I trust my life. I value my life too much to have autopilot on. Anyway, that's it for today. Let's go and play some Street Fighter and kick your ass. And El can drink whatever he wants because he's not driving.